All right, welcome back to Physio Rehab. Now, today's session is about the lower trap. Now, this is really good for people who are really upper trappy and they don't have too much lower traps. Sometimes these people also have serratus anterior problems. So if you're one of those people that have winging or serratus problems, you've probably also got a bit of lower trap wingers because they go hand in hand. I'm gonna give you three exercises today that are gonna help with that. So first one is a one-arm skydive. That's what we call it. So with Michelle here, if you go flat for me, Michelle, if she's doing one hand at a time, this right shoulder, you've got to think, remember the lower traps is coming from the shoulder blade down towards the spinal angle like that. So we want her moving her shoulder blade in the same direction which will fire at the best. So she's going to try and lift her shoulder blade or think about lifting her shoulder blade over towards her opposite hip. Okay, so if she thinks about where the direction she's going because she can't see it, so if you lift that for me, Michelle, she's going to lift that shoulder blade just to start with. So just lifting that scapula in a direction of her left hip. Then she's got to try and put some load on it. So you raise your hand for me. There you go. So there's a little bit of load where she's working to hold that isometrically in that position. So this is like an isometric hold for her lower trap. Yes, she's got a bit of rhomboid, she's got a little bit of rotator cuff, but it's trying to bias that position of that lower trap. Then she externally rotates to get a little bit more rotator cuff and she's gonna reach for her foot. So if she externally rotates that way, so remember thumb outwards and upwards, all right, then she's gotta think about to get a wee bit more depression, which is that lower trap movement down there, she's gonna think about reaching towards that foot down there and you'll see that shoulder blade move. Now, of course, you're gonna get a little bit of lat in there, but because you're not gripping, it's more about the lower trap and more about the scapula coming down than it is about the arm coming down, okay? So that's an ISO hold. So isometric holds that maximal squeeze down here without overcompensating, about 10 seconds of that. You're trying to do 10 or 20 of those. And now that's a really good isometric entry-level stuff, all right? Then we're gonna to move to more of a movement-based one. So come on up here, Michelle. So what you then wanna aim for is to try and do a scapular row. Pop that in that hand for me. So the scapular row is a little bit different to a one-arm row because your one-arm row is you're gonna bend, you're gonna use your lats, we don't wanna do that. So with a scapular row, you're just thinking the shoulder blade is going down. Okay, yes, you're gonna do a bit of retraction, so a little bit of rhomboids, but remember, rhomboids come in this direction, okay? So if you're just using rhomboids and you're not using lower trap, what's gonna happen is when you pull, your shoulder's gonna go up and you're gonna fire your upper trap. This is where the upper trappy people come in. So if you're one of those people, when you pull back and you come up, this one's for you. So this elbow has to stay straight. This tension here can't be too much. If it's too much, you're gonna start bending your elbow or you're gonna overcompensate. So don't have this too heavy. But for her, think of the anchor point through the hand, through the elbow, through the shoulder, as one sort of straight line. So when you pull down, you don't want to be doing that. You want to be going down on that angle that way. All right. So when she pulls down, she's got to think about this shoulder blade again, same drill, coming towards the opposite hip. So she pulls that down and back in that direction, and then you know if that shoulder blade is coming down and in a bit, you're going to be working that lower trap. All right. So reaching right forward to the top, so when she goes forward, her shoulder blade goes up. All right, so she, in this position, if the hand's up, shoulder blade's up, then she pulls that whole thing down and she's got to focus on not bending the elbow. Great, so that's a really good, again, sort of next level up where you're using your lower trap, there's not too much load, but you're isolating it that you're actually moving the shoulder blade now, okay? And you're doing a, not a static isometric contraction, you're trying to work on a dynamic movement there, all right? And then we're gonna make it even harder. So third thing I want her to do is use a foam roller. So come over here, Michelle. So foam roller one, is again, this is the easy stuff you can do at home or do in the gym. Both hands on that for me, Michelle, yep. She's gonna now try and roll that roller, but there's a few things you gotta think about before you do this. Hands a little bit wider than the shoulders, thumbs sort of facing up, make sure you clear any impingement problems you've got going on there. Now, most people when they roll this roller, they'll lift their spine up, they'll start arching through here, they'll arch their lower back, and they almost do a thoracic extension, which is what we don't want. So to stop that, she's got to then tilt her pelvis back a little bit to neutral, turn her core on, hold that on, turn her glutes on if she needs to, and she's got to think about both shoulder blades this time, coming down and like a V. 
Okay, so if those shoulder blades are sort of coming towards this part, this shoulder is coming towards here, she's going to try and roll that roller like a lap pull down, but again, elbows can't bend, all right? So try that one for me, Michelle. So she pulls down quite nicely, that's quite good. And then she rolls it forward and lets her shoulder blades go up and forward, all right, like that. And then when she rolls the roller, she's got to think, okay, I've got to pull these down to roll the roller. So rather than your hands rolling the roller, because you'd end up just bending your elbows, she's using her shoulder blades to roll the roller. So a little thing to think about when you do that is pull your shoulder blades to pull the roller. Okay, so do that again for me. Pulling down, coming into that V, and just stopping at the point where she thinks she's gonna start doing too much thoracic extension there. All right. Again, really nice one to work on. Don't overcook it, you'll just start extending your back. But again, nice lower trap isolation, and that's a really good progression for someone who's got lower trap weakness. So give that a shot. See you next time.